Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, guys, I am doing absolutely fantastic today. How about you, baby? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty excited and stoked about uh, today. Me too. Are you guys excited back there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> We're linking up with uh, DD5 and their kids. We're gonna go out to the lake today. Yeah. It's actually really overcasty right now, um, and it rained super good this morning. But this afternoon we've got like extreme heat advisory and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a nice time out at the lake and yeah. be able to uh, go swimming and jump off the, the cliffs over there and. Uh, yeah. Just have a good old time. Good times had by all. Swing you guys back around. The bumps are moving in around. We've actually, um, full disclosure, we started um, trying to record earlier when we first got on the road. But man, our stupid windshield holder phone thingy kept popping off everywhere. Yep. I was like, this ain't working. Let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> so, good morning times too. Yep. <laughs> Yes. But today is going to be a wonderful day. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Did you bring... Now, you didn't pack up any of your fishing contraptions, did you, baby? No, I did not. Yeah. I did not pack up any of them whatsoever. And it's because, one, I got skunked the last time I was over there. And I got skunked the last time I went fishing, too. Which would have been, like, I'm going to catch a fish. But this is the last hurrah as a family, you know, and I want to spend it with the kids and go swimming and enjoy the time with everybody. And I didn't go swimming last time. I was yeah. trying to fish. Last and time we were out there, you just were on the shore the whole time. I mean, you did go swimming for like a little bit to cool off, you know, Yeah, but you really weren't swimming with everybody. You were no. really just off on your own, doing your own trying thing. to trying to catch a big one. Yeah. He was but going after the big one. <laughs> it didn't happen didn't happen at all so well you know what you're bound for a good catch like because you've been skunked right it's like mm -hmm. it's due so. it's due exactly it's due. so now i'm just i'll just let it keep on festering <laughs> one of these uh days the fishing gods will uh, allow me to catch the big one yeah <laughs> yeah you'll get it you'll get it babe just make sure to bring it home no so last night we did a real talk pretty late um we had a really busy day yesterday, which you guys can currently see on uh, Simple Life Reclaimed, because I got that video edited and uploaded and live for your viewing pleasure. See? <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? The stinking I was windshield. For it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I got it up, guys. It's up on our channel. Um, you guys can see our very busy day. Now we're getting onto a paved road, so it shouldn't be too bumpy now. There we go. All right, is it gonna work? <laughs> is it gonna work? Oh man. <laughs> that is now the third time that thing has fallen off. Man. Let it roll. Yeah, let it roll. It's roll we're rolling with it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, I did stay up late last night and I edited and I got the video all put together. It's up on Simple Life Reclaimed so you guys can see uh, what we got into yesterday, which is also why we didn't do a real talk right away. We did one a barbecue edition. Gary was working that grill. Man, those uh pork chops came out really good man super good and I, I do have to say my mac and cheese was pretty bomb too mm -hmm. yeah mac and cheese is bomb but no those steaks the uh, the pork steaks were really 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 good yeah you did a great job honey the butter made it the butter yeah. on there gave it that extra oomph that I find, it needed I find that every time I cook pork chops on the grill they always end up drying up so well there's different ways you can do it too like um you know you there can is. put like water inside the grill to help me like a cup of water like on the grill with it when you close it no um there's but, different things that you can do right but i think it's just the pork meat it's one of those yeah one of those things with pork but however i do know that if i marinated it if i marinated it for like 48 hours having all those juices and everything inside of it yeah i think it would have I don't think it would be uh, that crazy because I do that with the pork tenderloin mm -hmm. and that works. But. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was good. I thought it was a great dinner. It came out great. Yeah. I love the fact that you have your grill because 
um, on editing nights and stuff like that, um, Gary will help me out with the cooking or I'll put something in the Instapot just depending on what we have inside the house, right? Yeah. And what we've eaten lately. <laughs> yeah. Um, all depends on what everybody's in the mood for. Yes. And a lot of times it's uh, tacos, <laughs> uh, spaghetti. <laughs> pizza. And pizza. Yeah. On my editing nights or hamburgers. Or, or hamburgers. Yeah. yeah. It tends to be the uh, the census. Or I'll throw something in the Instapot, like you know, roast or. Well, um, that's a that that has to be done on a Sunday. Like, for Gary. For me, I I love having that roast on Sundays. It starts the week off really good. You got that good, uh, I don't know, all the juices and all the fats and all the the hearty food with the potatoes and everything. I ain't gonna lie, that's almost a deal breaker in our marriage. <laughs> like Gary's like, I don't have very many demands, but one thing I do demand is, woman, on a Sunday, I want my roast. Yep. <laughs> I do like it. I think it. it's I funny. Know. I think it's funny. It's easy to please. Easy to please. Hey. It's not hard at all to make this guy happy, which I appreciate. I like, I don't know. I take it from my, my side of the family. Yeah. My mom used to do the same thing. It was always, every Sunday roast i will say um with the prices going up for everything everywhere it makes it I, a little rougher yes it does and instead of being like having this giant roast with all these leftovers that we could snack on the next day i've been taking the big roasts and i've been cutting them in half and then we get two weeks of dinners out of it so i'm right. only buying two roasts a month instead of four yeah. to save some money and stuff right because they're like 50 bucks now dude it's crazy yeah. well we're off we're getting the pork roasts too if it, which no, are the about, cheaper i'm talking about for the beef ones Those no i know like the beef ones are 50 i know but like the pork roasts they're normally like 25 well, 23 right, 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 right now, now they're like 35 yeah. but still still either way they, they've gone up compared gone to what up. they used to be i remember you used to be able to pick them up for ten dollars I'm, so. Man, we used to be able to grab them for like seven, eight bucks. I know. Remember? It'd be this big old thing, and then we'd have meat for the rest of the week, like sandwich yeah. meats and whatnot. You remember when we and you first started dating, and um, Fresh and Easy in Las Vegas was a very big, popular thing? Yes. I think Fresh and Easy is out of, out of uh, business now. I'm pretty positive, which is sad. It is sad. Fresh and Easy was a... Um, so Fresh and Easy was a... Um, pretty much everything that they sold in there it was kind of like a Whole Foods type yeah. of store. Um, so it was all really good quality food in there. Um, but Fresh the, food. Ah, oh, there we go again, man. <laughs> this time the phone came out too. Sorry. Ah. Sorry, guys. Today's just one of those days with this stupid phone carrier thing on my car. <laughs> ah, it's aggravating, but it is what it is. I'll go uh. on to carry on and carrying on with the story. Um, so Fresh and Easy was kind of like a Whole Foods type place, really good high quality food, and it was sold very affordably because there was no cashiers. Um, the entire store was self-checkout. They had like a security guard or two watching to make sure that people didn't steal anything. And um, that's one of the way that they kept everything really affordable. I don't know why they went out of business, but uh, back in the day when Gary and I first started dating, that was one that was our store of choice. It was right down the road from our um, apartment that we were staying in, and we used to be able to go there. And I, we both got tips and stuff at one of, at our jobs, and um, I'd I'd come home from work and I'd have a, a wad full of tips, and um, we'd go into Fresh and Easy, and I swear for like twenty bucks, oh. <laughs> all these ones. <laughs> We'd, we'd be able to tenderloin, yeah, some salad, fat dinner. We, yeah, and it was all nice and fresh, you know. And it was easy. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'd go down. Uh, we'd we'd literally sometimes get off of work, grab our tips, go to Fresh and Easy, grab a couple of things, throw it inside the cooler, get inside the truck, and then mob out. And then we yeah. would be gone all weekend. Yeah. Like it was, and, some, and like, that was something that we did all the time, all yeah. the time. It was one of our, that was how we dated. That was how we dated. You know, yep. some people go out to eat, go to the movies, they go do this and that. Me and Gary went hiking and we went out to the lake and we went out, I guess, exploring and going and seeing new places. We went traveling together and that's how we yep. fell in love. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good times. Good old times next to that river out there. Yeah, good times. However, I don't, I don't know of any spot that has cliff jumping like that. I have yet to see any 
Like that was like that, that cliff jumping spot out there in Nelson's Landing. That was pretty intense. Crap. That's uh, some so, good cliff jumping. Some of the cliffs are so high that there's no way in heck that I am going to be jumping off of them. <laughs> um, it was fun. I am a chicken when it comes to heights. That's not a secret. He convinced me to jump off of a few of them that were pretty high a couple of times. Um, and I, I can say that I did it. So I have that. I did it, right? But I don't know if I'd really want to be doing it a whole bunch anymore. I think right now about 20 feet's my limit right now. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to, I don't know if my body can handle the slap anymore. I'm getting older. Yeah. You know? Oh, man. I be like a stick. I could be like a oh. stick, baby, and no, that'll help. Only the pressure. That's a good idea, Scarlett, but I don't know if I want to go over 20 feet anymore. No. 20 feet's pretty high. When you're like looking down, like... at least. When you're up there and you're looking down. Whee! Yeah. There... It hurts when you land wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it definitely does. That's for sure. Like when you do, <laughs> like when you do a belly flop onto the water mm -hmm. in oh, my place. Oh yeah. yeah. My stomach. That's why I don't have to take weight last time over there. You, you did a, you you did a belly flop. You did a belly flop and hurt your stomach? Yeah, it hurt my stomach for a minute. Uh, try not to do belly flops. Do cannonballs and do the stick. And the twist and flips and stuff, okay? Try. I, I know. Yeah, the cannonballs are fun. Yeah. Yep. Cannonballs are a lot of fun. Yeah, and then I do the Heck yeah. So where we're going today, there is a place for us to um, to cliff jump, but it's not really like cliff. It's a it's a man-made. man-made uh, tower, basically, that you can go jump off of. And... Yeah, actually, we put some footage um, when Anthony and Rox and uh, we all went camping over there. Mm -hmm. earlier in the summer I can't remember exactly when but it was earlier in the summer we went camping over there had a great time um, but Mike and Lissa's kids they were in Florida at the time and so their kids have never been able to go to this place and our kids and their kids they're bestest of friends and you know we love Mike and Lissa too and we just wanted to have us a good old one good last old hurrah right because Today's Saturday, um, kids start school on Monday, so legit, this is the last hurrah because tomorrow I'm going to be making the kids go to bed early, we're going to be double checking all of their bags and backpacks and things and um, yeah. kind of picking up the house a little bit, Maybe just we'll uh, getting things back in order. Maybe we'll rent a movie tonight. Yeah, might rent a movie tonight, be fun. Play some board games. Yeah, just for the those last... card games, so... Um, Today's Saturday, sweetie. Mm -hmm. uh, so the card games that was sent to us for the treehouse, thank you again, Miss Aunt D. Thank you, thank you. We played, we did play with them, the um, red, red light, light green, green light. light. That was a lot of fun. We haven't played the slap game yet. No. Uh, maybe but we'll play maybe that we'll one. Maybe we'll do that tonight. Yeah, maybe we'll play that one. But we have played the red light, green light. What do you guys think of that game? That was fun. That yeah. was fun. Was it easy to learn? Yeah. Yes. Yep, they learned it on the first try. It wasn't too hard. It was a lot of fun. You just kind of go in sequential order. It sort of reminds us of um, Una, Uno in a way. Yeah. But um, not at the same time. I don't know. It was good fun. It was good fun. Uh, but yeah, tonight is, is going to be their last night of staying up late and watching movies and hurrahing around because tomorrow is a school night. I can't believe we're saying mm -hmm. it. Tomorrow's a school night. Man, oh man. Yeah, it's tomorrow school night. Yep. The next day is So, school's going to be starting. Um, Gary and I are going to be hoofing it back to reality, back to uh, to getting it. We do have loose ends that we want to tie up before we start changing our focus and attention towards um, the cabin. Yep. Obviously, we did have some things we wanted to uh, finish by the end of summer, but honestly, it's okay that we didn't finish those things. Um, one, heat. Two, yep. Spending time with the children. Um, and three, honestly, I just, there were some times where I just wasn't feeling super good. And I don't want to sit here and cry to you guys every time that I don't feel well, because then you guys are going to be like, wow, wow, I feel good. <laughs> but there were some times I just wasn't feeling good. And um, it just wasn't the, uh, the right timing. So maybe now that um, the kids are going to go back to school, we're going to start, you know, with our schedules and stuff again. I know that Gary and I are going to be able to um, to regain our focus as far as, you know, 
checking off some more of these goals. But I wouldn't trade this summer for anything. I'm happy that we no. took the time that we did. Um, the stuff this, is still there to get done. We're going to get it done. This summer has uh, been one heck of a summer. One heck of a summer. It's been great. If not the uh, the absolute best. Yeah. I think it's actually has been the absolute best. Yeah, we've... But, um, we are going to stop by, yes, honey, we will. Okay, we will. I know, sweetheart, we're almost there. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're already... So, um, we're going to have us a very, very good day today hanging out with the Fram Bam. I know that uh, this week is going to be a, a good, productive week. We're going to help out, um, come home. Yeah. We're gonna do a lot of stuff around our place and get ourselves back in order. I don't know, maybe if the weather holds out, we might just finish off the Pecker Palace this week too. No. Yeah. That'd be nice if we could get that off of our list. Well, I wanna get that done and I wanna try to uh, integrate the other chickens too. Yeah, so. so feathers and everything else too, so. The baby chicks that are right next to the rabbits, they're, we only have them right next to the rabbits because we don't really have any other place to put them, but we don't want them there forever. That's not no. supposed to be a chicken hutch. No. <laughs> it's supposed to be a rabbit hutch for when we breed the rabbits, but Gary got excited and saw a bunch of chickens and came home with a bunch of chickens one day, and I don't blame him. I'm happy he did. Yeah, I'm filling the void, all right? Yeah. Yeah, no. You're like, hey, there's, there's a house here. We could put something in this house. I've always said, hey, there needs to be structure. Yes. I'm not buying it without the structure. Yeah. I'm trying to scramble. Yeah. So. Well, we still kind of ended up doing that a little we bit. We still ended up doing it a little bit. It always ends up happening, though. <laughs> a little bit. That's why I always say, I don't want to do it. Yeah, well. <laughs> always ends up happening, though. That's life. But. But. Yeah. It is what it is. But yeah, we're going to try to wrap up maybe Pegger Palace and then um, spend a good amount of solid undistracted attention towards the kids' playhouse and finish that one off. And then after those two things, I think we're going to be about ready for us to start working on the decking and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We're right there. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm uh, going to do some more research on the, uh, the planking and everything else. Yeah, I'm looking forward but. to it too, not be having rain constantly as soon as you open the basement door you, you know psh. yeah i mean eventually once we i mean we're gonna have a roof over the patios and everything else but we'll still get that sideways wind uh rain mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah so it would be a beneficial aspect if we can make it to where it's completely waterproof underneath there it would be nice but yeah. we'll see what we can do we'll, we're just gonna do our best as we always do we'll see and, what happens yeah just try and go for it. Learn as we go. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. <laughs> but we're pulling into the store right now. We got to grab some ice um, real quick so that way we can meet up with uh, Mike and Lissa. Yep. So we're going to go in here, do the darn thing, let the kids go to the restroom, and we are going to thoroughly enjoy today. I hope that you guys do too. If today is the last day of your kids' summer vacation, I hope that you guys do something fun. Um, if not, if your kids are all grown up, well, I hope yeah. that you guys uh, enjoy reminiscing, listening about our stories and stuff and what we got going on. But either way, we love you guys. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with us today and watching today's video of Real Talk with SLR. We'll be back with another episode here shortly, um, probably tomorrow. Oh, I need to go around. I'm going to go around the other way. Probably tomorrow. Um, and um, if you guys get a chance, go check out our video that we put on Simple Life Reclaimed. Gary was able to, um, to fix some broken things. Yep. We were able to get some things done, which um, is definitely going to increase our quality of life around here. Plus, I spilled the beans on the big purchase that I made, which should also be delivered this week. You guys will be seeing that in upcoming videos too. So. Although I'm long-winded, I love you guys. I'm parking. <laughs> <laughs> Until the next one, we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, Bye. later.